Gains Caliban. Welcome back to another Yugi Kai Avengers, and today we're going to be checking out all the Yu Gi Oh! pop figures. I'm only missing three, which is the special lunchbox Blue Eyes, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and Ra, because they're not else in this country yet. We're going to check Wave 1, 2, 3, and the specials that came with them. Let's just crack on. So here is Wave 1. This is the, as you can see on the box in the back. Wave 1 only had 4 characters in its first wave. It did get a special, which we'll check in a bit. We got Yami Yugi, Seto Kaiba, Blue Eyes, White Dragon and Dark Mission Girl. I'm not quite sure they put Dark Mission Girl, maybe they got confused, thinking that was his boss monster. I guess they got the uh, wrong idea there. But we ought to check them out. Yami Yugi is quite an impressive pop. They got his hair lines, his eyebrows, and I just love the little detail they put on him. He's got his cards. Nothing's on the cards, though. But my only issue with this, they didn't give him a dual disc. As you'll see later, they do finally give one of their pop figures a dual disc, but I'm guessing they just, it was just too much hassle for them. There's the back. Comes with a little deck box. So that's Yami Yugi. Here we have Kaiba. <laughs> cool little figure. He's only got one card in his hand. But you do get that detail on his jacket. And his little card on his neck. And he goes also a white cape. And unfortunately, once again, we didn't get his dual disc. Say what? And then we got two monsters. So the one of the monsters we got was Blue Eyes. He's a tiny bit bigger than the others and a bit heavier. He is awesome now. That's such a cool figure. Unfortunately, he can't move his neck. And he does look a bit weird, weird with a big head. Bruh. But you can get this one from like a special version where he's white. I missed out on that one. And it's too expensive to get now, so unfortunately I can't show that one. But it's exactly the same but white. <laughs> Lastly, Dark Magician Girl. You get a detail. I'm sure her hair goes the other way though. Yeah, because we're usually used to seeing her on the side, but I'm sure her fringe goes the other way. But yeah, they get all the little detail on. Didn't put the pentagram on her chest. Hey, what happened? But it's cool she got a pop figure. Remember how people went crazy for this one? And lastly, it was the special Dark Magician. We finally got him. We were a bit late on it, but we got him. Hopefully, you guys got this one. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you where you can buy these things from. Or where I like to buy them from. But yeah, you get all of his little cool ass details. So I didn't do them in blue. Here is Wave 2. They really upped the game in this wave. If we check out the box, we had five this time, which is awesome. It's always good when they get a second wave because then you know people are buying them and they're gonna continue. And we got more specials in this wave, which we'll dive deep in. But let's let's get the, the big one out of the box. <laughs> which is Exodia the Forbidden One. Nah, he's a Yu-Gi-Oh, if I've ever seen one. Got all of his chains on him still. His evil ears. He's Egyptian. The dint in his head. But this is Gazodia, it's a lovely figure, even if you oh. just get this pop figure, it's worth buying. I know. Denied! So, we'll check out Jimmy next. So we got another duelist, this is him from his school outfit. I would rather have the Battle City one, that's more iconic to me, and his blue outfit. He's got a few cards in his hand, but unfortunately he doesn't come with his dual disc. Say what? Another one that didn't come with a dual disc, but at least we got Joey. Yeah. We also have Yugi Moto. I'm glad they made one of little Yugi. Happy they didn't forget about him, but he's in his school outfit. He's always in the source of school outfit, isn't he? Fortunately, he doesn't come with all this, but he does come with his uh, Millennium Puzzle, and you can just about see some detail on the eye on it. And then they carried on making more characters. We got Pegasus in his red outfit, and he's still got his Millennium Eye, which is cool. His hair's quite movable there. Yu-Gi-Ohism. Not much to say about that one, but they've... It's nice to see them making more characters than making other char the same characters in different poses. Lastly, we got Red Eyes B-Dragon. He's kind of like the Blue Eyes, where he tilts his head to the left. But that is awesome. Even Joey would buy this. There's the back of him. It's quite... It's a lovely figure for what the price you're paying. So there's both Blue Eyes and Red Eyes. Wait, they're both the same height, both got the same pose really, and they both look the opposite way. 
it's worth buying these pops just for them. Even if you're not a big fan of the human characters, go for the uh, monsters instead. Brr. This wave we got three specials, and the first one is Merrick. The army Merrick. And finally we got our first dual disc. <laughs> he didn't do much on the, uh, the deck, but he, he's got his Millennium Rod. His earrings, the eye on his head, his evil eyebrows, and his crazy hair. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like a Dragon Ball pop. <laughs> Got his cool cape as well. It's you yours in this one. This is when they began to up their game. They made the Egyptian gods into pop figures. Small six inch pops for us to enjoy. Oh yeah. Like always, the only game was Slife and Rappers together. We always, they always forget about Ra. But that, well this one's just fantastic. Mixing all of his snake-like body around. His little tiny wings there. There's his legs. They just about made that look awesome. Yeah, there's his arms and his legs over there. He stands easily. He's just got a massive head. He's like, Wee! and then you turn and you see the head in the background. But that is amazing and with Slifer there's Obelisk the old games now this one's incredible too just the detail on it kind of reminds me of the, the one they've just recently done of uh, Kakashi's Sasuno you got all these dents on his body you got his mouth there like Rrr. and he's getting ready to tickle you maybe Rrr. he's like Rrr. I'm surprised he didn't do a special one of him with his infinity colour. At least we're getting the Wind Dragon for our next to go to complete this set. After a good long while, we finally got to Wave 3, which recently is coming out, and it's still probably coming out in some countries, but I've just got these figures lately, in the last two weeks from this video. Unfortunately, Wave 3 is quite a small set. Collect them all. There's only three of them this time, but they did a lot of specials. So we got Yami Bakara with his Millennium Ring. He's got his hand held. No dual disc, sadly. Oh no! He's got his iconic clothes on and his iconic hair on. That is cool. I love the hair on this one. He really done well that one. Here we have My Valentine's, which is awesome because nobody ever makes My Valentine. And she comes with a dual disc. Everybody put your hands in the air. But I'm happy we got our Mind Valentine's. How many cards has she got in the hand? Yeah, they did a shame on the uh, the cards this time. They did that well. Then we got another monster, which is Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Comes with Toon World as well. Oh, that's cool. I didn't, I never even thought of looking at that. They've even done the art on the bottom of the book, of the Toon World book. And you can see the world in the background. I'm guessing they've done Blue Eyes 2 and they go with the Pegasus. They seem to be doing a monster and a human character together. So we're going to check over the specials. Well, this one's not really a special because it's in the, it shows it in the main wave, but not on the box. So we got Pharaoh 10. So there you go, they did, they did do a main character in this wave. Damn you. Bruh. Told you, they always do the main character in every wave. In anything. Well, mostly anime and Harry Potter. Ha! King Atem sitting on his throne in his ancient Egyptian clothes, like in the Ark, the final Ark. He's got the little gold bits in his hair. Well, anyway, I think that. It's just a bit plain and boring in the background. My gold. This one's quite expensive. To compare to the rest, it's not the same size as Exodia, it's just it makes it look a bit bigger. But uh, I do, they do charge a bit more. They do have charged it quite a bit for this one. But it's still an impressive figure. It's gonna look good. What people can do with pictures of this one. The other special we got was Silent Swordsman, level zero, which is. I don't know why they've done this one, this is really random. I'm not sure it's because it's the card little Yugi used, but he's got a nice shine to his helmet. 
And if you're after this one, this one's a Funko exclusive, so you can get this one on the website. Check the Funko website, see if it's in stock for your one. But that's where you can grab this one. And the other random pop figure they did was this one. Stardust Dragon. This is Yu Go 5D, so I don't know why they've jumped to all the way to there. Like, where's where's Neos? Where's GX? Don't be jumping to other series, because you can. It's still a cool looking figure. So that's all of the Yu-Gi-Oh pop so far. Just missing two, which aren't out where I am. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is out in some countries, and the Raw, I haven't seen anybody post about it yet. I'll do a review on the last two, if this video does well. I'm gonna show you some pictures I've done, let me know what you think. My question to you is, which are your favorite pops, and which characters would you like to see be made into pops? For me, they're gonna continue this series of Yu-Gi-Oh, if they're going to make more characters, I can see them doing Harpy Lady and maybe a, a monster for Bakura. But if they're going to stop their characters, hopefully they'll move on to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and we get those characters. I want to see some of them because they barely get any love. I can see Jaden and the Elemental Hero Neos or Elemental Flame Wingman being the 6-inch pop. Or even a Cyber Dragon or an Arm Dragon. That would be awesome. Ah uh, yes, if you're looking to buy some of these Yu-Gi-Oh Pops, or if you're wondering where I've got the specials from, I buy them from Pop Culture, Australian website. So if you're struggling to get any of them, just check that website. That's all I've got to bang on about. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's different to what I've done before. I just thought I'd make an interesting video. If Yu-Gi-Oh related, keeps my channel busy. If you have any video ideas, let me know and I could look into them because I've got nothing to open right now. Thank you to all my new subscribers, we're nearly to 230 subscribers. The goal is to get to 500, and then a thousand before the end of this year, but I've got to keep making videos to do that, or you guys will get bored of me. If you like this, check my Instagram out because I post more on there. I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh! and a Digimon one. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you whenever I make the next video, which should be soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye, Mom.